Good morning one and all welcome to my video in this video i would be talking about elastic search uh, health status as red uh, so the lessons i learned the harder way so in this video i'm going to be talking about how you can get the status back to green or how you can get your elastic search um, cluster back or everything okay to normal so these are the lessons I've learned uh, the harder way. I have been working with Elasticsearch uh, since past uh, six months and uh, I had a couple of issues and stuff. So this is the way I had to go through a lot of Stack Overflow and a lot of articles and I have created a nice summary for you guys. So let's get started. So the step one is basically we need to identify the problem. Why is your status like, uh, why is the health basically red? So if you uh, enter this command or if you can also do that using um, Kibana, this will give you a response which will tell you what actually went wrong. If you get these kind of messages, usually it's because of unassigned shards. So unassigned shards mean uh, your shards are not assigned properly. So now, okay, you got you got the problem, right? Now we know the problem. Now the solution to that problem or what are the reason why the shards failed? And here are the following reason it can be. So first reason is basically the shard allocation is purposely delayed. Too many shards, not enough nodes, right? So you're using very less nodes. You need to re-enable the shard allocation. Then the shard data is no longer exist in the cluster. Low disk watermark, multiple Elasticsearch versions. These can be the possibly the problem. And the solutions that I think can help you out uh, are as follow. First of all, guys, clear your cache. Like what do you have, uh, place your index name and just clear all your cache. Um, Second thing what you can do is basically try to uh, increase the maximum allocation retries. Uh, I tried it to five or 10, uh, see and wait for a while and see if that helps. Uh, if that also does not help, then you can try with uh, deleting all the scroll, making sure that you are freeing some memory there. Increasing the timeout. So what you can do is index dot unassigned node left delayed timeout. You can increase it to 10 minutes. Uh, so you try out uh, if that works. Another thing what you can do is basically increase the replica to one and then change it back to zero. So uh, so sometimes this hack might work, might not work, try it out. Uh, the last thing is basically what you can do is basically if you're running Elasticsearch not on AWS and you are managing it by yourself, you can try rerouting, uh, rerouting the basically um, shots. So what you can do is basically try out this command, um, command allocate uh, empty primary, index name, constant updates, shards as zero. Uh, so try this, see if this works. If you if your cluster is on AWS, this won't work. It will give you like permission denied. Last thing, if nothing works, I would say delete the cluster or the index and start again. That's the only way. Uh, these are the lessons I have learned over the past years, um, over the past month, sorry, uh, working with Elasticsearch. A uh, couple of suggestions I want to give you if you're working with shards. How many shards should you use? Usually 25 GB uh, per shard is a good idea. So if you have like 250 GB of data in case you can go for 10 or 20 shards. How many replicas do I use? So usually if you're on a QA environment, I would recommend uh, to use at least one replica on the QA. And if you're on production, I would say at least three replicas. So in case the shard allocation failed, you still have the replicas and um, you will work. And at the end, I would uh, wish you happy elk. Uh, uh, hope, hopefully if you have these issues and um, you will get it sorted out with this uh, small tutorial. Uh, here are some of the references that I have used uh, which might help you. Uh, that's it for this video. I would conclude the video right here. If you have any more questions, post your questions in the comments and I would try to answer them. Thank you for watching the video. See you guys next time.